What is up everyone? Who is hungry? Because I sure know I am. I'm so, hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. hungry. We're all hungry. But today we're going to go on a fast food chain adventure. So our goal is to hit up at least seven different fast food chains. And today we're going to start off with Jollibee. And then we're just going to go from one to another to another to another. And we're probably just going to explode by the end of today. So let's do it. Let's go fill our stomachs. Woo! Holy moly. <laughs> this place is huge. Why is that menu so big? There seems to be so much jolly food here. So you got the jolly hot dog, you got the jolly spaghetti. And I don't know what that is, but we got, oh wait, I think it's over here too. We got a yum burger. So I really do not know what I'm gonna have, but from looking at this menu, I feel like I'm gonna have to have a lot. Um, could I get the one yum burger? I'll get the burger steak and the chicken joy. We got space on the table, that is packed. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of Jolly Boo food. Cheers, man. Thank you. Hey, here it is. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there a oh, thank you. All right, all right, all right. So we got all our food here. We have the biggest platter of Jollibee. So we got the chicken. We got the yum burger. We got, what is this called again? A steak burger. <laughs> we got a steak burger. And I made a mistake. I thought this was actually another burger. I was like, why do I have two burgers? But this is rice. So they actually just package rice up like this and it looks like a burger. All right. And you got this too. Oh yeah. Sure and we got this hot dog. Jolly dog. Jolly, jolly burger. Dog. Jolly hot dog. Jolly dog. <laughs> Everything is jolly. And right now. And you're gonna try some of this as well. I'm gonna be jolly after eating this. And we got spaghetti. Oh my god, we got spaghetti. We got spaghetti, people. So we'll start off with the yum burger. See, I don't even know what is on the yum burger. We got a patty and some little little secret sauce right there. It's looking pretty good. Describe the flavors of the like mouth water. It's like it's checking you take a bite. It's like a party in your mouth. Oh my god, oh, just oh, scream oh. at me, Pete. Just like eat me, put it in my mouth. Oh my god. Oh, good man. That's a good chicken. Wow. I love the chicken in the building. This is amazing. Mmm. That is like KFC standard chicken right there. This gravy is extremely creamy. So creamy. And I'm guessing it is the same gravy on this. So we got this like <laughs> this meat patty is yeah. actually just drowned in gravy. I can barely even see this meat patty. But I'll save it. I'll save it from being drowned. And drown it in my mouth. Oh damn. That is some good meat patty as well. There it comes, there it comes now. Get ready for this. <laughs> Man, everything here is so good. Oh, I'm loving this. All right, the food crawl begins. So Jollibee is done. And now the next one, we're going to Chow King. Lucky for us, everything is really close here. Like, I can see Jollibee. Jollibee's there. Chow King is here. I, I don't even know if I remember seeing Chow King around, but I don't know what to do. Oh my God, this one works. <laughs> it happens everywhere out here. I don't know what is in Chow King. I don't know what they have. I don't know what to expect, but we shall see, people. Let's go. Oh. Hey, can I get the chunky sort of the pork buns? Oh, hey guys, do you mind if I take a seat no, here? No, oh, okay, no, I'll just no. move on. <laughs> okay, so because we're going to so many different places today, we're all ordering something separately each and we're just going to share it. So, we, first off, we got the amazing Halo Halo. So, it's got that ube ice cream. So, I had some ube ice cream a couple of days ago and that was delicious. 
This is literally just mixed up with everything. Like, I don't know what is in this. We got some oats, we got some, I think it's like rice in it. We got cherries, we got a bit of jelly. It is just a whole mixture of fun. Okay, here we go, first impressions. I'm gonna get a big old spoonful. I don't, I don't know what even is on my spoon right now. Right, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah, I can taste rice. I can taste jelly. I can taste cherry. Taste that Ubi ice cream, what is that? What am I eating right now? I had to pull that, whoa, okay, it's a bean. They even got beans in there? This is an insane dessert. Alright, cheers man for holding There is so many things in this dessert right now. Look at that, you can see. We got a bean, I think it's a cherry. We got a jelly, we got Ubi ice cream. This kind of looks like rice, I think it's rice. It's like that sweet rice. Alright, and we got oat. Wow. It's just a mixture of flavors. All right, so next in line, we got some sweet and sour chicken with some prawn crackers. So let's dig into this. So this place is more like a Chinese restaurant. And a lot of stuff like this. Oh, ooh, damn. Wow. Sweet and sour chicken is like one of my favorite Chinese foods. I've ever. So uh, it's real. It's like one of the sweetest sweet and sour chickens I've had. And of course, you gotta get a good scoop of rice with that sweet and sour chicken sauce. You get the full mixed rub it off, then to chop it off. Chuck in a prawn cracker because prawn crackers are just delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Mm, mm. Okay, last but not least, we got the delicious pork bun, and it is out. It is very hot. So, when I was traveling throughout Japan, this is probably the most common thing I was eating. Like these are at every single 7-Eleven. These are so fluffy, they're stuffed full of pork. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat this. This is extremely hot. Just, ah, ah, ah. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm scowling hot. Another bite, another bite, another bite. Here we go. Mmm, what a bacon. What a bacon. Now, yeah. this is one of my favorite sort of side snacks. Chinese side snacks I have. So hot. Dig in, dig in. Here we go, one, two, three. One, two, three, bang. Let me go. It's alright? Do it, do it. It's really good. Really sweet. Wow. Really tender. The juices. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> yeah, just take it all, just take it all. <laughs> okay, so check, check came up the list. That was, that was damn good. Just one thing though, it did take a while to get all the food ordered to us. Like, a fast food place, of course you expect fast food, but that kind of took a little bit. Um, I don't know the next place we're gonna go to. Whee! <laughs> I don't know the next place we're off to. But I don't think it's far, it's like it's just up the street. We're just on, there's a lot of stuff here on the main street. I really, I think we might have to cut down the restaurants we do today. Because uh, this is the second one. And at this rate, we're just going to be way too full for the restaurants to come. Next place, Andox. So yeah, this is more just like a walk-in and buy. It's not really a restaurant per se. And they specialize in a lot of meat here. So they've got chicken, kebabs, and they also have some fish. Uh, we're not really gonna order too much, but we're just gonna order like a piece of chicken, try it out because at this rate, it's really struggling to keep up. So let's give her a taste. So let's see how this chicken compares to all the other chickens we've been having today. Oh my God. It's extremely warm. <laughs> These foods are so hard to eat just because they're so hot to grab. So it doesn't seem like the, the crust is as um, crunchy as the other ones. Mmm, fried chicken. That's some good quality fish right now. Even got our stuff from Gravy. It's called Scarbell Gravy. 
can't get out of the fact I have hot this is almost normal. Mmm. Flavy, and creamy, and delicious. Okay, so next place I've seen around a fair bit. So this is Angels. It's it's a pretty simple food store around here. They got uh, mainly just hamburgers and hot dogs and sandwiches. But this is the cheapest of all the places we've been to. One hamburger, one hamburger sandwich you can get for 26 pesos. So that is really really cheap, cheap eat. And as I said, you'll see these ones everywhere. Alright, here we go, we got the burgers. And I didn't even realize, but if you buy one, you also get another one free. So we got two for the price of one, baby. Well, let's dig in. Open that packaging up for us. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, Joey, come on. Give it to me. Show us what you got. Oh, damn, burger. Look at that. You got a little bit of that, Look at that. banana ketchup leaking out. It looks so neon. Daddy. Ready? I'm gonna go for the bite. Alright, here he goes, here he goes. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh. Take one for the team. Mm. What, what's in this? I don't know what it is. It could be anything, honestly. It's a sauce, that's sauce. <laughs> it's like neon. <laughs> it's banana ketchup. So it's like burger number three for today. Let's dig in. Mm. It's so nice when they just freshly cook up. Damn, damn. Look at the sauce on this side. This is like the banana crush up. It's like neon red. It's really good for being how cheap it is. Like. 26 pesos for two. Not bad. Busy, 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 busy. So this is extremely easy going to all these food places because there's dead set all in within walking distance. And this area that we're in right now is called Newtown Makati. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. But this street is filled with everything. If you go down the whole street, they've just got stalls everywhere. They're like selling clothes, they're selling fruit, um, they're selling a bunch of food. So yeah, you've got plenty of stuff going on and happening here. And for the next place is this, Insal. So this is food place number five. That's it? Yeah, I think we're good there. Hello, hello. No more hello, hello, cutting off. I think I may pronounce this place wrong. So this was called Mung Inasal. And like the second you walk into this place, it just smells so sweet. So their specialties here is more like chicken, like the other ones. Oh, look at that, all the tables are reserved. And it's fairly busy up here, but yeah, we got ourselves some chicken. We're gonna find a spot and then give that a try now. So this is a different type of fried chicken. So this is more like a, like a street barbecue chicken. And then you got the calamansi. This is really nice to add onto the chicken and the rice to give it that extra flavor. You got some sauce to add with it as well. So what we do with the calamansi, we yep. take this, we go make that sauce mixture. There we go, that's how you go. Mixture with the sauce. We do this, we put a little calamansi juice in there. It's crazy how much, much more flavor this calamansi gives Get that it. juice, and then you take some soy sauce. Soy sauce, mix that up, mix, mix that, that right up. And then you just give that a little mix like that. And then you dunk the chicken in. Oh, just oh, like and just sprinkle it over. All over the chicken. Dang. It's gonna be hard to squeeze in, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Oh, it's good. So the best thing about this chicken, it's not scalding hot, so you can actually grab it and touch it. But, you know, this has such an amazing smoky taste to it. It's got that true barbecue taste. And the best thing about this place too, if you want like extra side of rice, you have like unlimited portion of rice. So whatever much rice you want, you can get it right here. Damn. This just tastes like that typical street food chicken. What do you think, Joseph? I love that it's not that sweet. It's delicious. It tastes smokiness. Finger licking good. Finger licking good. Tell him up, Bob. Okay, that is mung and a salad done. Um, we're pretty much done for this area for the food place we've got to get to. But I think we're actually going to take our word for what we said for the start of the day. We're going to go to seven places. So we've already done five. We've only got two more to go. But the next two places we're going to now is sort of out of the way. So we're going to maybe get a grab to this next place and then hit up the last two food places. And of course, explode after that. Okay, so now for our next destination for where we're going to be eating our last two fast foods 
is at the Venice Grand Canal Mall. So this place is pretty impressive. Look how big it is. Um, so we're going to explore the shop and then we're going to eat the food and end it there. So let's go. Nice. Your pizza is perfection when it's from Shakey. Can I have a spray? Alright, so we're here at our next place called Shakey. So this is not exactly Philippines, but this is just a really popular fast food joint throughout the Philippines. It's more like pizza. They do, they're really popular on pizza here. Pizza and Western food. And this is really popular here too. So this is called Mojo's. I actually have no idea what Mojo's is. But it kind of looks like a potato. I don't know what it is. It looks like a potato. Let's try it. Where? Mm, that's nice. Yeah, it's just a really nice fried potato. And then next we'll get our delicious pizza coming out. We got ourselves not the biggest pizza. Just, it's pretty small, simple pizza. Extra cheese. Like, I've seen the other pizzas that everyone else has been getting around here. It looks really good, like, you can get yourself a massive pizza. But because we've already eaten, like, at six, five restaurants already, five places, we're just gonna stick to something small and simple. Oh my god, Pop. Slow down. Yeah. What is that? It's the best pizza I've had. It's average. Just for like a simple thin crust pizza. How much is this? How much pizza? Cheap. I'm guessing it's cheap. <laughs> okay, so Shaky's verdict. It's average. <laughs> it wasn't the best meal, but I feel like all the other meals I've been having throughout today have been way better. Um, we were going to go to another place right now called Zark's Burger, but it turns out it is closed. So I'm not too sure what we're going to do. We don't really want to end it there on just six places because I promised you guys we're going to get a seven. So I think because there's food places everywhere around here, we're just going to hit up one more place that is popular in the Philippines and we should end it there. Okay, and for our last and final meal, we are at Queer J and we got some Filipino Paris. And we got the flan, baby. This looks delicious. Okie dokie, guys. Let's get ready for this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Joey, Joey, are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Slap that on. Slap some of that meat on and the juices. Gotta get the juices in there. Alright, alright. Man, just looking at this, it looks tender. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, that right there has so much flavor. How delicious is that paris? That, that paris is amazing. Like this meat, it just melts in your mouth. Mmm! Oh. And for the tippity top, cherry on top, we have the flan. Here we go. Dig in, dig in. Oh, just melts. Look at this. All right. Mmm, these are love flan so much. I've missed this so much. Ooh. Right? Damn, boy. Oh, that is sweet. It's, this is definitely a good way to end it. Absolutely. Eating a dessert. Oh, it's so light and fluffy too. All right, lady oh, fluffy. fluffy. <laughs> all right, lady <laughs> fluffy. Some fluffy. Come Look on. Look at this. Is what you got? I eat pates for three seconds. All the flan is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I want like to like yeah. Okay, and we're done. Do you know what that means? We've done everything. We have gone to seven, seven restaurants. restaurants. You're kidding me. Seven. Re I didn't believe we we're going to be able to do it from the beginning. I think we just went. Too, we ate too much at Jollibee from the beginning, but we're just sort of taking it easy one after another, and we did it. I'm extremely full. You full? I'm so ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like this place is a good way to end it. And what are you thinking, Joey? How did you enjoy the experience? I love the experience. I'm stuffed right now. I need a nap. Oh, <laughs> So as you can see, we're all exhausted after eating that food, but definitely a great Filipino food experience. And if any of you guys are adventuring around the Philippines, definitely be sure to check out these places, especially Jollibee, because Jollibee was one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams, skate your comfort zone. 
And I'll see you later. Bye.